welcome to year five. I am so excited that you've been chosen to be in my class next year and I cannot wait until we meet each other and we officially start our journey in year five. So I am in fact, for those of you who do not know, and I'll be with you throughout the entire journey of year five. We're going to have some fantastic learning and I've already heard about the wonderful job that you have done with Mr Brown in year four and he's told me all about your fantastic learning and your wonderful personalities and I cannot wait to have you join me just down the corridor in year five next year. Yeah. And at home we have our four core values, which is something we're going to take into next year as well. So as you can see, our main one is going to be looking at these four things. So we've got collaboration, which you already had a collaboration day on this year. So think about when you're coming to year five, how can we work together? How can we be a team? How can we include every single person in our classroom in our learning and on the playground as well. We are one big team in year five, especially in 5MP. And I believe we will have a number of collaborative learning opportunities, whether that might be in English, in math, or in any of our foundation curriculum. Second of all, we've got respect. How can we manage respect not only myself and each other, but anybody who comes into our classroom, whether that's one of our fantastic teaching assistants or whether it's our visitor as well? Think about how can we treat each other the way you want to be treated. Think about how we are going to bring that joy and that collaboration within the classroom as well. All staff in Year 5 are incredibly excited and cannot wait to be your biggest champions. We want to motivate and encourage you next year so that you can achieve greatness. We are incredibly excited to watch you grow and blossom into fantastic individuals who embrace challenges across all learning opportunities. Next year there will be myself, Miss Chambers and Mr Clark who will be teaching in Year 5. And let's not forget about Mr Musgrove and Miss Betts who will do nothing but support you in those learning opportunities wherever and however we can. We will be working together as a team. We're going to have a quick look at our learning behaviours that I'm expecting from you from the very first day that you come into my classroom. So, thinking about here, these are very similar and something you probably recognise from year four as well. But something I'm very looking forward to is seeing your growth mindset. There's no such word as can't in our classroom now, year five. We are always going to give it a go and we're going to try our best. Remember, our fail and fail attitude is something that I'm really looking forward to in year five. We always have a go. We make mistakes, that's absolutely okay. And if we make a mistake, we can work together, use our collaboration learning, and we can move forward and be classic. to make sure we get the learning tip to become a successful learner. In year five, we are all about thinking independently and how you can lead your own learning. So think about how can you present your learning in a unique and a new fantastic way, bringing that exceptionality into our classroom. Then think about how we can find humour in situations because What's learning about having some fun year five? And that is something we're going to include throughout the entire year as well. And finally, we need to make sure we are listening to everyone in our classroom, whether that's me, whether that's a visitor, whether that's your peers as well. We listen and respect everyone else's ideas and choice in the classroom. And obviously, there's lots more there, but that's something you can look forward to going through on that first day year five. We have an amazing curriculum which you will enjoy and love in September. You will be learning a range of different things across the year. Alongside our fantastic English and Maths learning, we will be investigating properties and changes of materials, looking at different scientific processes and how they change. And don't forget our wonderful practical experiments as well. In history, we'll be working our way through an historical timeline and investigating the chronology of the Stone Age to the Iron Age. In geography, we will explore mountain environments, looking at different mountains across the world and in the United Kingdom. And in PSHG, we will investigate different ways we can keep ourselves and others safe. I've heard lots of you like art and design, so next year we'll be using different technological devices to imitate different paintings. Whilst in design and technology, we'll be designing and creating our own tablet and iPad case. In RE, we'll be exploring different denominations of the Christian, Christian community. And in computing, we will learn how to create and edit 3D images on laptops and on possibly on our iPads. In PE, we will explore two different attacking and defending games, netball and futsal. And in music, we'll be learning about Living on a Prayer by Bon Jovi. I'm sure your parents will have heard of that song. Finally, in French, which we all adore, we'll be exploring how to explain our route to school whilst using our real-life experiences to translate school life at Manor. I cannot wait, Year 5, and I hope you can't either. 
In September, you will enter the school in the same place that you entered it in year four on the Key Stage 2 playground and you will walk down the corridor to the cloakroom, hang up your belongings and come back into the classroom. The toilets are in the same place as they were last year, down at the bottom by the dining room. And year five, this is what our fantastic classroom will look like in September. And this is where we'll do our fantastic learning and also where you will be dismissed at the end of the day. To say year five, have an absolutely fantastic summer and stay safe. So you are with me on that very first day of school in September. And remember, you are now joining the fabulous five team. So we need that fabulous attitude and learning behaviours when you walk through that door. And remember, come and say hello to me in the final week of term next week as well. Have a lovely summer and I will see you in September.